Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back with an interesting video for you. Today I'm going to show you a simple process that I like to use to make some waterproof fire starting tinder. Now first of all you can see that I have an empty container of petroleum jelly. This is basically Vaseline and the reason it's empty obviously is because I have some warming up uh, to a liquid, liquid state on the stove here. Also you can see that I have some candle wax which is basically a couple of these ingots. I have that heating up as well and the, the wax and stuff doesn't have to be super hot neither does the Vaseline so I'm just kinda sharing a burner here just warming it up. I have these on about medium heat. Right here you can see that I have hundred percent cotton rounds. You can find these in your cosmetic section of your store. Make sure that they're hundred percent cotton though and this is basically what they look like very simple nothing too crazy I also have a small metal container this is going to be to put them in after I make my fire starting tinder. I'm going to put them in this metal container and if you're wondering what type of container this is uh, it's simply just one of these Crossman uh, pellet containers That's what it is. You can see that this one's been charred, it's been heated over a fire many times. These are great little containers. Uh, you can see underneath everything I have some wax paper laid out on top of a cookie sheet and last but not least I have a pair uh, a, a uh, <laughs> excuse me a pair of needle nose like this or in my case today I have a clothespin. So the first thing I want to do to make these fire starters is very simple. I'm going to take these little patches and I'm going to attach just barely attach this to the cotton round and I'm going to saturate them in Vaseline and then I'm going to put them on top of the wax paper to dry so let's take a look and see what that looks like so it's very simple just like this just drop them down in there get them full and saturated let them drip till they finish and when they're just about done dripping just lay them down right there grab the next one just push them down get them nice and saturated let them drip dry just like that one more to do here you can see that the Vaseline at a warm state like this it just goes into the cotton round so easily and I kinda drag them on the side of the pot here just kinda helps get them to dry a little bit so I'm just setting them down on the wax paper just like this and I'm going to let them solidify. If you want to expedite the process, you can take these and put them in the freezer. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And you can see that I have these out of the freezer now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one and I'm going to grab a hold of it with my little thing here. And I'm just going to dip it all the way under the wax and let it drip dry until it's finished and lay that down on the wax paper. You'll notice there's a little spot right here on the fire starter from where the clothespin was. Don't worry about that. Fix that in a second. Get a hold of it here. Dunk it under and just let it drip dry. Set it down and just repeat the process with all of the pieces. I'm going to dip them again and I want to dip this side down with my fingers. 
just about halfway and I'll just hold it and I'll let it dry if your if your wax is too hot they won't dry quick enough so you want to make sure that your wax ain't too hot and then I'm going to flip the opposite side around and I'm going to dip the bottom so I'm basically just giving them another layer of wax so we just want to make sure that we saturate the whole piece this is where we get our waterproof the Vaseline is basically going to be our accelerant and the wax is our waterproofing you can see the shininess will turn into like almost a dull kind of color when they're dry see they're shiny right now that's basically it set these babies on the wax paper and let them cool we can also move them back to the freezer I'm actually going to do that right now while I'm in the process of waiting for my fire starters to cure I'm gonna take a small drain piece with the blue shop towel I'm gonna use this as a filter and I'm gonna pour this wax through this filter into my molds this will clean the wax again if I had any dog hair or any kind of dirt or debris or anything like that uh, it'll get rid of that stuff and then the wax will be pure and clean and ready to go the next time if your wax is too cold it won't pour through this shop towel very good so you gotta make sure that your wax is warm enough to go through this you can do the same thing with the Vaseline if you want to run it through a filter but I'm not going to do that right now you can see that the Vaseline is still pretty clean so I'm just going to pour it in the container now I want to warn you guys if the Vaseline's really hot this plastic container might not hold up so make sure that you're in a safe area in case that thing uh, melts down this container I'm talking about if it melts you're gonna have Vaseline everywhere so make sure you have this stuff in an area again I can't stress that enough I've had that happen before so I'm just gonna let these ingots uh, solidify and the petroleum jelly and everything will be good to go here pretty soon holds five fire starters just like that so you have a nice clean package with fire starters that are waterproof and whenever you need them they're there let's take a look and see how these things work you can see I have a small bucket of water here and I have my fire starters so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this thing open and I'm gonna take one of them out you can see that they have a little bit of a cracked look to them from where I smashed them down but I'm gonna just drop that thing in the water you can see that it floats and you can also see that the water just repels straight off of it the water just repels right off of that thing I mean it's completely underwater so let me move this out of the way so I basically just shake this thing off and then I come over here and I rip it open to expose the fibers that's important you want the fibers opened up nice and good I'm gonna set that down kind of like almost like a fire lay I'm gonna bend that thing in half so that it kind of holds itself up now I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the lightning strike one strike and we're lit this thing is gonna have give me plenty of time to gather up my tinder whatever materials that I'm gonna need to burn so it's gonna give me plenty of time to get this stuff together
and I like these because if if I was dealing with a situation where there was a lot of wet pieces of wood like this I could definitely uh, be using that accelerant to dry my pieces of wood if I had some sort of lean-to type arrangement where I had something over here and then I had like for example my tin here you know I can just kind of lean the sticks up against my tin there and it gives it a little bit of room to breathe and then if those sticks were wet then it'll help the flames push through it'll dry the material and then once the materials dry then of course we're gonna start burning so it's a pretty cool uh, fire starter very easy to make I want to show you something though real quick let me push this away I'm gonna use the tin to kinda of snuff it out see I just kinda of snuffed it out and back to the water that completely underwater pulling it out it's completely wet and I have some small flames right here still going actually they just went out but I can pull this thing apart if you get it really saturated with water real heavy just kinda squeeze it in your hand and you'll squeeze the water out and then once you do that see that you can get the water out once you get that you just reopen the fibers again and strike it just like you did the first time but to make sure that those fibers are open really really big so you want a big open spot there so I'm just laying this thing down you can see I got a little bit of ember in that fire still in that material so I'm gonna grab my lightning strike one more time you can you can obviously see that that thing was completely wet it went underwater again it's a little bit more difficult to light but nonetheless clearly see that it's still lit right back up again so the petroleum or should I say the Vaseline is just like I mentioned earlier it's an accelerant that extends the life of the flames these are very easy to make they don't cost nothing hardly you know you could go to a garage sale and buy some old candles or find somebody that has some candles that they're not using maybe they're burnt out or something and they don't have enough uh, use for them anymore these are really good little fire starters Well, folks, I want to say thank you for joining me today on how to make these fire starters. These are waterproof. Please, uh, please feel free to leave comments down below on this video. Feel free to like this video. Share it. If you like the content on my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And until next time, have a beautiful day, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.